Here we have a cheeky little 2012 Volkswagen Up, blue motion technology in white, it's a five door hatch. Car's in nice condition with a couple of age related marks. Offside front tyre looking at around three to four millimetres. Bit of a minor kerb on the front alloy there, apart from that there's no signs of any other kerbs or any scuffs. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, I'm taking a good look that I couldn't find any dinks or any dents. A couple of scratches to the mirror cap. Uh, you've got three quite large scratches on the driver's door itself. Uh, you can just about make them out in the video. Quite a long large one there leading towards the door handle. And I can just about get my nail into all them scratches, so be aware of that. No chips at all down the door edge. Looking on the rear door, very clean indeed with no signs of any marks there. And no signs of any chips at all on the door edge. A couple of light little marks on the rear quarter, again nothing major. And you're looking at around 4 to 5 mil on the rear tyre. No curbing or any scuff marks at all to the rear alloy. And moving around to the back of the vehicle. No marks at all to the uh, boot. No scratches or any damage there. And the rear bumper is in nice condition as well. No scratches at all on the back. You've got a bit of a uh, scuff mark in blue as you can see there. And again, looks relatively clean with no signs of any damage. Take a look in the boot. As you can see, you've got your parcel shelf there. A bit of underneath storage, and I have checked underneath there, there doesn't appear to be any spare wheel. Move around to the near side of the vehicle. Near side rear tyre, looking at around 4mm of tread. And the rear alloy is in nice condition as well. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, there doesn't appear to be any dinks or any dents at all on the bodywork. But there is a few light scratches again. As you see here on the offside rear quarter, a bit of a scratch there which has had some touching in, but a long large scratch going down the rear door. Again, I can get my nail into some of those, and a large scratch as well on the front passenger door as well. So quite a few scratches to the vehicle, but very hard to spot and they're not too heavy. Um, moving around to the front, the front tyre, looking at around 2 to 3 mil, and there's some little scuffs on this front alloy, as you can see, but nothing too major at all. Move on to the front of the vehicle, again just a couple of stone chips to the front bumper. Little one or two little minor marks to the bonnet, but nice condition on the front with no signs of any damage. Take a look inside the vehicle. As you can see, you've got the full cloth interior. Absolutely immaculate inside, no damage, no marks to the cloth or any stains. Back of the seats are in nice condition and the carpets are nice and clean as well. Looking in the driver's uh, seat, again perfect condition, it is a partial leather as well, there's a bit of leather to the seat, nice condition there with no signs of any damage, and the same to the front passenger seat as well. Inside the dashboard etc is very tidy and the steering wheel is in nice condition as well, so very nice condition in the driver's seat. Taking a look inside the vehicle itself, now you do get two sets of keys with the car, and if we just get the car started. As you can see, it does start first time, no problems at all there. As you can see, there's no um, lights or anything indicated on the dash that you need to be aware of. And you're looking at around 21,958 miles on the clock. As you can see, you get a nice um, navigation system here. It is all touchscreen as well, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So that's a really nice feature to the vehicle. You do also have heated seats in the car as well, which is a really nice option. And they work perfectly fine. Radio and CD player, again functions great and everything looks and works fine. You've got manual transmission, taking a quick look at the documents. V5 looking at around two owners. No MOT on the vehicle as of the age, it will need MOT on the 6th of the 9th 2015. And we have got full service history, first one there at 11,000 done at Volkswagen. Of course it hasn't required its second service yet. And so at around 21,000 miles, so it probably is close to its next service. There you go guys, that is the 2012 Volkswagen Up. And a very nice little car with just a few minor little scratches that require some polish.